Welcome to Myth Busters Down Syndrome Edition. My name is Erin Waddyham. Hi, my name is Dr. Katherine Garforth from Garforth Education. Hi, my name is Eleanor Stewart, and I'm from the Down Syndrome Resource Foundation. I'm the Director of Education and Services. And we're here to dispel some myths about Down Syndrome. People with Down Syndrome can't be in a romantic relationship or get married. I don't know why people would assume that an individual with Down Syndrome wouldn't want that closeness and that feeling that you can only have with the intimacy with a partner. And whether that's through dating or you know, ultimately making that long-term commitment of marrying. Yes, it may look different than a traditional marriage, but what is a traditional marriage these days anyways? True, that definition keeps changing a lot, right? But yeah, I know there's so many, I've been fortunate to work with so many individuals who have very different relationships and a lot of those are romantic relationships. A lot of them are just, you know, they call each other boyfriend and girlfriend, but you know, it may be very different from what we would traditionally think a boyfriend girlfriend relationship would be or a romantic relationship would be. Like maybe it's just them hanging out once a week and you know, holding hands or just having some sort of intimacy. And even if you think about intimacy, that's like, there's a big range within that, what that means. And it comes down to it, like every human needs to feel belonged and loved. And I, yeah, I, I never understand this myth either because as you said, everyone needs, needs that feeling and wants that. Wants to someone other than their family, finding that match, that person that understands you and that you can connect with and have those deep conversations and not be worried about saying something wrong. Like mm -hmm. that desire is likely there for pretty much everyone in some way, having that other individual that understands you. Yeah. And especially right now when so many of our young adults and teenagers are stuck at home, it's so nice for those, those individuals that I know who do have a partner, just being able to text or call or Zoom and FaceTime. Like that's been a real saving grace for a lot of individuals and has really made them, help them kind of cope with these hard times these last few months. So, and I know, yeah, there's so many different in, there's different understandings, of, like we have conversations with one of the adult classes that I run around even just that idea of what traditionally we think of, of, you know, fidelity and just having a monogamous relationship. Whereas a lot of individuals that I talk to, you know, one day they're really into one person and then that it changes right away. And they're like, actually, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to, maybe see this person as well. And then sometimes we've seen situations where there's, you know, multiple partners in the relationship and, you know, but they're all happy and open about it. And then it makes you think about, well, what, yeah, where are we getting our traditional concepts of these relationships? I think it's important for people to understand that everyone has desires and has that need for connection. And there is no reason why this should be discouraged. No. or not allowed and parents or family managers should be willing to say yes it's okay for you to develop that close relationship with yeah. someone outside of our nuclear family so that you can have someone to go to and to talk to when you need it that isn't us yeah and one one scenario we often see happen a lot is that you know, individuals with Down syndrome and they, they see their siblings get married or they see their siblings move out. And again, it reinforces how much more they want that for themselves, right? They're like, well, why, why does my sister get to move out and, um, you know, share a space with her partner? And why don't I get to do that? And I think it's, it's starting to really change for individuals, young adults, especially because families are realizing that 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 it is this need and that they have that right to that that connection and that feeling of being loved and wanted and not just by their family some people think that people with down syndrome can't get married because you can you cannot marry because you're different that is a part of relationships to more more effective 
besides I have a girlfriend already. So that's why it's a part of me from what I join lives. Yeah. So that might be something you want to do in the future, right? Yeah.